So the first thing we need to do is make our 1% agarose gel. So we're going to go measure 0.4 grams of your pure agarose, and we're going to have point or 40 milliliters of your prepared TAE buffer. We are going to take these and combine them together in a 250 milliliter beaker, flask, excuse me. Now that we have combined the agarose and the buffer, we need to let it hydrate for about a minute at room temperature. And then we're going to take it over to the microwave, add heat, swirl it twice during the minute time that it is being microwaved, and we will have a nice clear agarose that's ready to pour. So now that we've come back from the microwave, you can see that the agarose is nice and clear. That's our sign that the um, that the agarose has dissolved in our buffer. So now that it is nice and clear, we are going to go ahead and pour it okay, into our tray. The tray needs to be firmly secured between the two rubber dams so that it creates two barriers on the ends that you can pour your gel. If it is not secure in those rubber dams, it will, the agarose will leak out and you will have to start this process all over again. So once that is nice and secure, the tray, you can take your flask of agarose and pour into the tray. So what we're going to do is take our comb, we're using an eight well comb, and we're going to want to place it in the agarose gel before it starts to dry. We don't want it to be pushed all the way up against the end of the rubber dam, we want to have some space. There's actually a little holder for you that fits in to secure your wells in place. And now what we're going to have to do is not disturb the tray. The agarose has to sit and it's got to um, kind of firm up so before we can load it. So we're going to have to let that sit for about 20 minutes. Um, just like a cooking show, we already have one that's done. So you can see this gel is opaque in nature. It is firm and it is ready for us to use so that we can load it into our electrophoresis and add the buffer and start adding the um, dyes that we are going to run today.